Hello viewers, my name is Ashok Sen Gupta from School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Today's topic is based on leverage analysis part 3. In today's session, uh, we will discuss on the composite leverage. In previous two lectures, uh, we we discussed on the concept of leverage, we discussed on the types of leverage. So, concept of leverage means use of fixed asset and securities to increase the value of the equity shares holders or profit respectively. In uh, concept of leverage, there are two types of basic leverage. First is financial leverage and in financial leverage we were discussed on how we can use the debt or long term borrowing to increase the value of the equity shareholders. In operating leverage we discussed how we use the fixed cost to increase the BP and operating leverage. How we increase the profitability, how we increase the operating leverage by using the how, we, how much fixed cost must be used. We should exclude our profit from the fixed cost because we have to pay fixed cost either we use that area or not. For example, if you are having a warehouse of 1000 square feet and you are paying a good amount uh, uh, monthly as interest, but you are not using that warehouse properly and you are just using a small part of that, it will impact directly on your profitability. So, operating leverage said says use the fixed cost properly, use the machines. If you have a machine and you are going, you are using that or using that machine on rent basis, then use, you op, utilize it properly. You can see, you can see in many, many construction sites, uh, company hire mixtures cement mixture machines, cranes from third parties, they are not owing that, they are from third parties and they use that cranes and these kind of heavy machinery on day basis, per hour basis etcetera, but they utilize it properly. So, their construction cost will reduced or you can say by proper utilization of fixed cost, we can increase the profitability. So, this is about the operating profit. Now, in today's class, we will discuss the composite or combined leverage. This is the last topic of leverage analysis and in, leverage, in this topic, we are able to understand that how we can use both. This composite or combined leverage is the analysis of or multiplication of financial leverage and operating leverage. It is a blend mixture, it is a blended mixture of financial leverage and operating leverage. This leverage shows the relationship between a change in sales and corresponding variation in taxable income. So, taxable income used in financial leverage and sales in used in where operating leverage. So, this shows the relationship how we can the change in the sales and corresponding variation with the taxable income. If the management feels that a certain percentage change in sales would result a percentage change to taxable income, 
they would like to know the level or degree of changes. If management want a how much change in the sales volume impact on the financial in income or taxable income, they would like to know degree of change, kitna change hona chahiye ho, ya kitna change hua. Hence, they adopt this leverage. Thus, the leverage or degree of leverage erupted to forecast the future study of sales level with increase and decrease in taxable income. This degree established relationship between contribution and taxable income. So, composite leverage is gives the relationship between the income and sales. Look, there are two aspects. Sales is different aspect and income is different aspect. Until and unless we not receive the amount which we sell in the market, the receive the amount of product which we sell in the market we cannot say we, we receive an income, there is a kind of hypothetical thing. That is why it is quite difficult sometime when if you, if you see if you see in your uh, uh, in trading account we, uh, we see that sales is 100 crore, but out of 100 crore only 20 crore is cash sale and 80 crore is credit sale. So, until and unless we receive the credit sale or receive from the debtor till we have only 20 crores which we have by cash sale and through that 20 crore the company cannot survive. So, recovery is also important. So, companies focusing also on that to recovering recovery with the bad debt or debts from the de uh, de uh, debtors. Similarly, he also focusing on how much change on sales either positive or negative give a, a impact on give an impact on taxable income because sales from sales you can receive a gross profit and after deducting the indirect expenses from gross profit generally from gross profit we get net profit and from net profit we pay the tax and after that we get the, the taxable income. So, our income is also based on the sales how much income is based on sales. So, income is directly proportionate ok. So, we know that sales minus direct expenses equals to gross profit and by gross profit we less gross profit by net uh, sorry indirect expenses we get net profit. So, ultimately this amount depend on this. How the amount of change in the sales increase it impact on the net profit, because sometime expenses are fixed, some expenses are fixed, we have to pay the expenses like wages, salaries, other recurring expenses, loan amount. So, this is the concept in which we can a management of a firm able to understand the impact and, and relationship or degree of relationship between the contribution and the taxable income. So, what is contribution? We know that contribution is simply sales minus variable cost, sales minus 
variable cost is contribution. So, contribution equals to C equals to sales minus variable cost and this is a decision making point. This is a decision making point because sale if variable cost increases and compared to sale or com contribution moves downward. In present scenario, we can see due to the uh, increase in fuel, increase in the fuel rate either, either diesel or petrol, each and everything daily items cost increases. Similarly, it also impact on the firm also. The raw material cost will increase, it is variable cost per unit cost because they are adding transportation or included and transportation is based on the fuel prices. So, when variable cost increases and we cannot increase the sales price up comparatively to survive in the market except uh, except the firms like oil companies they having their own cartel. So, they increase their firm uh, prices and decrease their prices and, and they are very few and they are doing the same all from doing the same, but generally in other companies, other companies, FMCG companies, durable companies, durable acting companies, they are not able going to increase their sale price because of the huge competition in the market. But on the other hand, but on the other hand, variable cost increases. When variable cost increases, sales remain the same, it impact on the contribution and the impact on the contribution give direct effect on taxable income. So, how we can calculate the combined leverage? This is a simple formula operating leverage into financial leverage. Operating leverage means contribution divided by EBT or operating profit multiply by EBT into divided by EBT. So, operating leverage is here and uh, EB financial leverage is this one and when we cancel this and this by mathematical equation as a EBIT minus EBIT, then we receive C minus EBT earning before tax, earning before tax. We can transform the value of C equals to S minus V also. C equals to S minus V. So, C equals to S minus V divided by EBT is the formula of combined leverage. It is this impact contribution and EBT. Uh, let us do some questions, so we can able to understand better about the combined leverage. A company has a sale of rupees 2 lakh, company ke paas do, do lakh rupees ka sale hai, company has a sale of 2 lakh rupees. The variable cost are 40 percent of the sale and fixed cost is 60 percent. 
sorry 60,000, fixed cost is 60,000 and variable cost is 40 percent. Company is going on borrow capital of assume 20,000, company interest on borrow capital is 20,000, contribute the combined leverage, show the taxable income when sales increase by 10 percent. Company ka combined leverage nikalna hai aur agar 10 percent increase hota ten, agar sale to tax pe kya fark padta hai. Okay, uh, actually there is some long formula, so it is quite difficult. Uh, so, uh, I am going to do this question here also. So, you can see we have a sales of 2 lakh rupees. Okay. Now, to find out the uh, C, to find out the C, we need to subtract the variable cost and variable cost is 40 percent of sales. So, so 40 percent of sales is hmm, 40 percent of sales is 80,000 simple. Now, we receive a contribution, we received a contribution. This is a contribution C, okay. Now, less fixed cost, fixed cost is 60,000. So, we receive 60,000 as a operating profit. Sixty thousand is now a operating profit. Sixty thousand is now a operating profit. Clear? Up. You can now find out the changes. Okay. So we know EBIT is now 60,000, EBIT is now 60,000 less interest. What was the interest? As per the question, the interest was 20,000, interest was 20,000, interest was 20,000, okay. So, interest was 20,000. We subtract interest from here. and we receive 40,000. This is earning before tax and after interest, so EBT, earning before tax and after. So, in combined leverage, in combined leverage we know the formula, we C divided by EBT, C divided by EBT. So, here, so here C equals to we have C equals to we have this one, 1 lakh 20,000, C equals to 1 lakh 20,000 and EBT is 40,000. Combined leverage equals to 1 lakh 20,000 divided by 40,000 3 times combined leverage is 3 times. So, combined leverage is 3 times. This is half portion combined leverage now 3 times. Additionally, in this question this is given that what will the impact if the sale volume increase by 10 percent. So, how we can calculate how it can impact. So, just I am going to rub all these things. 
So, volume of value of the sale increased by 10 percent. So, 22 lakhs into 10 percent that equals to 20,000 add 2 lakhs additional previous. So, new sale is 2 lakh 20,000 new sale is 2 lakh 20,000 when sale increases variable cost increases and variable cost is 40 percent of sale variable cost is 40 percent of sale. So, variable cost equals to 22 lakh 20,000 get into 40 percent 88,000. So, to from here we can find out this is sale less variable cost 88,000. 88,000. Now, we receive three lakh twenty thousand. We lakh three lakh twenty thousand. Two lakh twenty thousand minus eighty-eight thousand. Eighty-eight. Two lakh twenty thousand minus eighty-eight thousand. Uh, variable cost contribution is equals to three. 1,32,000. From 1,32,000, if we deduct fixed cost, fixed cost remains the same. So, here fixed cost is also 60,000. Remaining balance is 72,000. This is operating profit EBIT. This is operating profit EBIT. Now, if from EBIT we deduct the interest borrowings 20,000, we deduct the borrowing 20,000, we have 52,000 now. This is EBT, this is EBT, same combined leverage equals to combined leverage leverage equals to contribution divided by EBT contribution is 1,32,000 divided by EBT 52,000 and we receive the answer 2.5. So, 2.5 this shows this shows that if we increase the EBT by by twelve thousand taxable income will increase by thirty percent. So difference is difference is this and this and difference is twelve twelve divided by forty previous. So, taxable income increased by 30 percent. So, when we increase the and it impact on the degree of leverage, it is impact on leverage initially it was 3 and now it is 2.5. So, it is quite clear that increase in sales 10 percent increase the taxable income by 30 percent, increase the taxable income by 30 percent. So, this if happens is proof. Another question sales is 10,000 rupees to 12 percent of selling price, variable cost 5,000, fixed cost this one. So, here variable cost is this less this 2 lakh aage, fixed cost we contribute kiya, operating profit aya, interest cut aya, EBT aya. We have already did that. Now, we will find out that So, financial leverage is EBIT divided by EBT. So, financial leverage is EBIT, uh, EBIT divided by EBT. This one.
this is EBIT and this is EBT okay. Operating leverage C upon EB, EBT, C upon EBT, I am sorry, C about EBT. This is operating leverage and we will multiply both of them, then we get the combined leverage, we get the combined leverage. So, similarly we have a question that capital structure of company ABC have ordinary share 5 lakh rupees, debenture 100 10 percent, sales 50 lakhs, increase in earning per share, dividend of leverage in EPS. So, sale price we having this one, variable this one, contribution less kar diya isme se, humne dekha, fixed cost field x kiya, to ye bacha humara EBT aya, EBT mein se debenture interest ghatha diya humne, to humara paar profit after, before tax a gaya, tax bhi ghatha diya, to equity share walo ke liya aya. So, increase in EBT, EPS हमारे पास कितना आया? 5 to 9, इसमें increase करने पे, financial leverage पहले 2 था, अब ये आया, and operating leverage 2 से ये आया. So, this is a comparative study where we can find out the operating leverage, earning per share and leverage. Okay. So, uh, friends, hope you will understand the topic of leverage analysis. Today is the, uh, we understand the combined leverage, which is a basically mixture of financial leverage and operating leverage. It is a contribution divided by EBT, and uh, this uh, combined leverage help for the understand the relationship between sales and the taxable income. Hope uh, this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for thank you for watching this video.